Now, the police are intensifying measures to clamp down on job and business scams in the island. This after scores of Jamaicans have been swindled out of thousands of dollars as they desperately seek a financial lifeline during the pandemic. Kalisha Williams addresses the issue in part two of a primetime news in focus, social media scam. Friend or fraud? On social media, it's hard to tell the difference. Especially since the pandemic, the space has become a gold mine for scams. It was really hard to accept the fact that I'm scammed. In the United States, 95,000 people reported about 770 million in losses to fraud initiated on social media platforms in 2021. Here in Jamaica. Since the pandemic, we have been getting a lot of those complaints. Um, and in fact, we have had about 50 or so complaints since the pandemic. And uh, may I just say that this is just what CTOC has recorded. The divisions or the 19 geographic divisions would have recorded quite um, a bit more. ACP Anthony McLaughlin heads the JCF's counterterrorism and organized crime investigations branch. He explained that since the pandemic, fake farm work job recruitments have been on the rise on social media and persons in rural areas are the main victims. If you are going to do business with these persons. If these persons advertise their services that they can get jobs overseas, contact the Ministry of Labor. And in many instances, this is not done. So they see the advertisement, they jump at it, they find the money and they pay. And once they pay, then that's it. And the police have been strategizing to clamp down on social media scammers since the pandemic. ACP McLaughlin pointed out that several persons have been arrested and charged. We keep kill, killing each other every day for some frivolous reasons. And uh, to take away from those investigations, our cybercrimes unit is very, very overwhelmed with these cybercrime issues. He stressed that Instagram is the platform of choice for scammers. What we notice, um, things like computers, because of the online school, then persons, these criminals, prey on, on people. So they will advertise computers, they will advertise um, cell phones, tablets, you name it. And they advertise at some ridiculous prices. Which brings us back to these three victims who said they were scammed by a business owner they met on Instagram. One bag was like $500. Oh, like wholesale, buying it wholesale. Right? So I realized that her bags was reasonable. However, ACP McLaughlin says it's hard to classify the transaction as a scam since the accused has been communicating with the victims. He pointed out that the matter will have to be referred to the Consumer Affairs Commission. Unless you can prove the criminal intent, which means that, you know, um, the vendor took your money and had no, uh, and he, he, he or she has no, no intention of providing the goods to you or returning your money then that will be um, a matter for investigation. Persons often overlook or may not even be aware that the Consumer Protection Act has a schedule attached to it that does provide or mandate that certain things be posted on a website in terms of you must have an address that you can find that business or find that person. You must have a con contact details which persons can use to contact the persons you must have, you want to see that they have a privacy policy. So what are the signs? We'll have the details in part three of this primetime news in Focus report. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.